In a moment, we will be discussing how to avoid three of the most common but avoidable problems plaguing many ESET deployments. First, we want to be able to validate that every endpoint has the ESET solution installed. Like most endpoint management solutions, ESET's architecture relies on services installed on every managed endpoint in the organization. This service must be configured accurately on each endpoint for the solution to be available and effective. Unfortunately, Antivirus-based technologies are susceptible to a common weakness. Services themselves can be disabled or missing, rendering the associated solution uselessly unavailable. Next, we want to validate that the one required service and process associated with ESET is configured and running correctly. If this fails because it is stopped, it is a critical problem that the ESET console cannot remediate alone. And last, we want to validate that the signature file is up to date within acceptable guidelines. Hi, my name is Paul Wallin with Promisec. In this session, I'm going to show you how Promisec's unique agentless technology, providing 100% visibility and control of your endpoints, can help stabilize and improve your ESET experience. Let's get started. First, we need to choose an IP range or a group of machines to inspect. There are several ways we can do this, including selecting a hostname, IP range, or through integration with Active Directory, which is the common method used in most uh, Promisec deployed enterprises. As you can see, I have selected six various hosts, which I've added to our inspection in the pane here. Now, as you can see, I can simply add a host name or an IP address if I wanted to inspect a machine individually. I can go over to a domain and I can import the Promisec uh, Active Directory. I can do the whole container. Uh, or I can do a specific group or an individual machine or I could do by IP range. Doing it by IP range ensures that all machines on that network segment will be inspected even if they are not part of the Windows domain or another security domain. So this will ensure that all and no hosts will be left behind. Next, let's take a look at the custom ESET configuration template that will define our inspection criteria and policies. This configuration template provides all the technical requirements we need to inspect the health and status of our ESET deployment. It includes all of the required services and associated processes required for a full ESET functionality as well as potentially useful registry information pertaining to ESET that will likely prove very valuable in the ongoing management and maintenance of your ESET deployment. The solution we are going to use will leverage your existing domain or local admin credentials to inspect your network without having to utilize WMI, ActiveX, or any dissolvable agents. Here we can see we're in our user defined, and what we've defined is the typical endpoint installation of an ESET deployment. Here we can see we're going to monitor and report on the actual eKern executable. This is the actual path of that executable, and we'll check to make sure that process is running. If it's not running, we'll be able to dis display that it's not running, and if it is running, we'll display it as being running. Here we also see that we have the actual ESET service, respective service that goes along with the process. At that time, we'll be able to repair this as well. Here you can see we've gone ahead and the real power of Promisex Interspace comes from its user defined and the ability to fix and report on registry information. Here, as you can see, we're looking at the ESET edition version information, the license key, the actual product name, the product type, the product version, the scanner build, the version, and the actual user uh, of the data being logged in. Uh, if we want to go ahead and look at the actual register of a machine, we can connect to a local machine here locally, or more importantly, we can go out to an actual machine. We'll put in the IP address or machine name. We'll go ahead and connect to it. And as you can see, we can go ahead and dive down into the registry. Here, we're going into the actual ESET directory after the installation. Here we can look at all the configuration information on the ESET security product. Here we have the ability to report back on any version information and other associated information needed to support our ESET deployment. Here we'll just go ahead and take a look and bring up the product code. We right click, look for both value and data. We'll go ahead and change this line to any and then we will have the ability 
at the point of inspection to report back on all the current version information related to this registry key of product code. This will help us have visibility into our endpoint running ESET. I'm going to go ahead and cancel out of there. And what we're going to go ahead and do now is go back into our configuration. We're going to go ahead and open it the ESET configuration that we have. These configurations are available for download off the PromiseX site. And here we've also set it that at the point of inspection we'll have the ability to go ahead and repair the ESET service if it has been turned off inadvertently by another installer or another application or a user has gone in and who has local admin permissions or power user and repair it. So as you can see We've defined it right here. When we find it, we're going to repair it. We're going to run the update. So anytime, as you can see, when this inspection occurs, we'll be able to repair it and at the same time report back on everything. Here we'll also make sure that we'll check basically to make sure that ESET is installed and that the antivirus deaths are up to date to one day. This policy can be one up to seven days, but typically ESET releases daily dats for your support of the ESET product in the enterprise. More than just another monitoring and inspection tool, this solution provides robust auto and right-click remediation capabilities that can probably make quick work of some of the most challenging ESET deployment issues. Here we can see we're reviewing the results of our ESET configuration and then our inspection. Here we can see that we're getting the information back that's vital to gauge the strength of our ESET deployment. Here we see that we have the edition version, the license key is not available, uh, and as we can see at the same time we're seeing that the antivirus definitions were last updated on 19. Here we're also seeing that antivirus is not installed on one endpoint. So this leads us to believe that some of the endpoints, and here's more information here, we see that the eKern executable is running. The endpoint, the ESET endpoint is operating uh, correctly and optimally. Here we see the version edition, the license key, the product name, the product type, and the product version, the build, and the scanner version. So we have the ability when we see things like the software is not installed, the antivirus or the antivirus are out of date, we have the ability to do what's called right-click remediation. Let's go ahead and get started. We've gone ahead and defined a few actions already. Very simply, here we're doing a host check communication. Here we're doing a ping and we're sending down a ping packet down to the endpoint. Here also we're making a function call to the local host for the ESET uh, sys inspector, a utility supplied by ESET to support the endpoints. Here we're also seeing that the ESET user interface update. Here we could right click on a endpoint that has its uh, signatures or dat files out of date, make a function call to the local host, bring up the UI, and have it update itself. We can al also automate those things. Or we can use the ESET SysRescue. Let's take a look. As we click here, we can right click and also install the software. Here we bring up the inner space deployment install software dialog box. Here I can browse to the endpoint or a share uh, somewhere defined in the enterprise. I can browse to it. I can click on the desktop. Here we have the ESET folder. Here we can either install an executable or an MSI. Click on it, highlight it, open it, and as you can see we can actually deploy the software out to that endpoint. I'm not going to start it for the purposes of this demonstration. However, let's go ahead and take it other actions that we can take. Here we can right click and if the endpoint was not responding we could check the host connectivity. Here again we defined a ping packet out of our actions dialogs behind here and we can see that the endpoint is alive. Or importantly we could actually make another right click on it and look at the ESET user interface update. Make a function call out to it, bring it up, and click on update. So here we have the ability also to sort through the information very quickly. We can click on by last date, home name, IP address, the actual object, last logged on user, the status, and additional information. So if I click on all the objects, I can get all the build information across the board. As you can see, we have different scanner versions. This would alert us to go ahead and rerun the engine updates. Here we can also see what the product versions are, so we're standardized there. 
here on the scanner builds, we have two different versions, one an old one and one a new one that haven't been defined as well. So as well as we can check the versions here, we can check for license keys. We had two of the correct license keys installed. Here we're seeing the business edition. And here we can quickly see that the antivirus stats are not installed or what machines didn't have together. And again, you have the ability to group these together, right click, and install the software. Not having to do it one by one, but you can batch them out. Very powerful from that side. And of course, as I said earlier, you can sort by any of the fields that you want specifically to do this. We have just kicked off an inspection, and as we can see, an inspection takes just a second or two for an endpoint to be completely inspected. There is no user impact to the endpoint during the inspection. Thus, inspections can be conducted during normal business hours with minimal change management. By not having an agent, deployment times are limited to just a few hours, not days, weeks, or months. Thanks for watching. For a free, no obligation trial of this solution, contact us via email at sales at promisec.com or visit us on the web at www.promisec.com dot com